Hi, everyone. This is Kyla Bowersikas from Hidden Gems Literary Emporium, I want to say, because that's what I usually say during all of my hundreds of interviews. But I guess today I'm just playing old Kyla here, introducing myself to you as your new favorite interviewer. We are here in New Brunswick, New Jersey, inside of Above Our Studios Art Gallery, the most beautiful, colorful, unique art gallery here in town. Dare I say the county? Dare I say the state? I mean, I am biased, but I do love this place. My husband and I had one of our first dates here. Anyway, why am I doing this video? Because I am your favorite interviewer. Why? You know, I guess that's just because... I mean, just keep watching, and I guess maybe, maybe I'll win your heart. So, a little bit about me. I'm 29 years old. Wife, mother of one two-year-old, soon to be one more new baby on the way. Co-founder of a nonprofit, Hidden Gems Literary Emporium. Our mission is to spread love through liter literacy. We run a donation-based bookstore. We travel the country giving away free books. We do a whole bunch of fun bookish things. Visit our website, hiddengemsliteraryemporium.com. I also work very closely here with Above Our Studios Art Gallery with events and art and things of that nature. And you're probably thinking, okay, so what does that have to do with interviewing? Well, lots. We interview hundreds of independent authors from all across the world. I'm talking about Australia, UK, where else? Netherlands, New Zealand. Ugh. Almost any country you can think of, we, we've spoken to an author in that country. I kid you not. Go on our YouTube channel. You will see for yourself where did my interviewing skills begin. Actually, right here in New Brunswick, when I was a student at Rutgers University, I studied media, marketing, and journalism. And I've interviewed hundreds and hundreds of people in my career. <sighs> Why do I love interviewing? <sighs> mm. There's nothing like talking to people. And, you know, especially through the pandemic, that's something that we as humanity have, you know, fell back on. Talking to people, embracing people. But... We all inside of us have some of the best stories and advice, and it's up to us, the interviewers, to pull it out of you, to share with the world. And that's what I love to do. What are every, okay, so we host our own events here at Hidden Gems. I'm usually the host. And everyone's always, when I get off stage, they're always like, you're such a great host. Where did you learn to do that? And I'm just like, I don't know I was born with it it's in my bones I just I've always loved talking to people and um it probably comes from you know my family we're a very talkative family very expressive family but I really am a people person and I genuinely care about the story or whatever whatever the person wants to tell me I care and I want to hear and I want to learn more and so that's why I love interviewing you know that's difficult because I've been, I used to work in the music industry. I've been around celebrities, but that's like, you know. Interesting person. Okay, I have to say two. No, this, it's hard. This is a hard question to answer. Okay, so I'm gonna give two groups of people that are my favorite to interview. Elders and children. My favorite group of people to interview. If you interview my two-year-old son, you could talk to him for about three hours. And if I interviewed some of the elders that we serve, we do a food distribution program every Sunday. If I interview, now those are some of the best stories, honestly. People who have lived over 75 years on this earth, best stories ever. I mean, I've spoken to millionaires and, you know, success stories. El people, anybody who's lived on this earth over 75 years has the best story, period. That's my answer. Is that an answer? It should be. Okay, I'm going to introduce the pizza podcast. Um, hi, 
everybody, this is Kyla Bower Sikas from the Pizza Parade, where we talk about your favorite pizza, your worst favorite pizza, prices, and more. Come on by to the Pizza Parade, hosted by the one and only Kyla Bower Sikas. That's right, this week we are traveling the country, giving away free pizza to anybody whose first name starts with a P. Wait, that actually sounds... <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> mm, okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Kyla Boracicas, and this week on Dashboard Library, we're talking about the books in our van that my husband is constantly trying to get me to get rid of, and I won't. You know why? Because you just you just might need it. So on our first episode, we're going to be talking about my favorite book on my dashboard, which is My Thesaurus. Why is My Thesaurus on my dashboard? Because you never know when you need a good synonym, okay? We're flipping open to page five. Let's see what we find. <laughs> These are not real shows, by the way. This is just an exercise. One more. Ooh, all about the arts. That's actually a great podcast name. So I guess for that one, we'd be a little more chill. Hi, everybody. This is Kyla Boer-Sikas, your host for All About the Arts, the weekly art podcast, letting you know the artists and the art exhibits that you need to know about. Now, this week, we are here at Above Art Studios, Art and All the Above, right here in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And we are featuring Andrew Wong from Hong Kong, the paper artist that you need on your wall. Please tune in Wednesday night at 7 p.m. to what was the name of the show? To art in all that's not what you said the first time. Please tune in Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock with your glass of wine, your cheese and crackers right here on insert platform here because we're not going to shout out anybody that's not sponsoring us and learn more about Andrew Wong from Hong Kong and how you can get his original paper art right here from New Brunswick, New Jersey. Everyone, my name is Kyla Bower Sikas, and you are tuned into big budget movies. We are talking about all of the big budget movies that you need to see this week. And you know what? I want to encourage you to support them. Go out to see the movies and don't do like I do and stream them for free on Dope Box. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, so if I'm interviewing someone who escaped from prison, first of all, I would say, well, thank you for being here, dear sir. <laughs> thank you for your time today. Can we post this online? Or is this going to get you in trouble? He went from started from the bottom now I'm here. I would the first question I would ask someone who has a cheese factory is do you have free samples on you? Please. Because we love cheese. First question I would ask a CIA spy is Well, I would just put a disclaimer out and say, for your own protection. We are okay with you being off camera. The second, the first question I would ask a CIA agent is, have you ever investigated? No, I would ask, who is the most famous person that you ever investigated that you can tell us about without risking your life? If I was interviewing Brad Pitt, 
The first question I would ask is, is that your real name? <laughs> or is that your stage name? Because you know how celebrities be doing. Like, it'll be, you never know. What is your name, Brad Pitt? If I, okay, the first question I would ask a chef of a silent kitchen is why, no, I wanted to say why in the world would you take that job, but obviously you're probably getting paid a good amount of money. A chef of a silent kitchen, I would ask, hmm, Hmm, that's a good one. Okay, so the first question I would ask a chef of a silent kitchen is, well, I don't know if this would be a question or a statement, but I would say, you know, I would assume the smart thing to do would be to learn sign language. Now, do you know sign language? Do people who work in sign language kitchens know sign language? Because that, I've never worked in one, but I would assume. I mean, that's the loophole, right? That's the loophole. Okay, I work, I apply for this job in a silent kitchen. Everybody should know sign language because then it's not silent. I mean, it is, but you can at least say, can you pass me the life? Or where's the chicken? Or, you know, we got to hurry up. That's the loophole. Okay. Um, well, that was fun. Again, we're going to close out now because, it, and if you go on our website, Hidden Gems Literary Emporium, Shameless Plug, your family owned nonprofit community bookstore, Shameless Plug, and you go through our interviews, you can see that I can literally talk for over an hour to people. But we're not going to do that right now because it's bedtime and we're going to go home. So, once again, my name is Kyla, your new favorite interviewer. I know I'm saying that being biased because I'm saying that about myself, but I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to working with you in some capacity. Feel free to contact me at, yes, I'm going to give my phone number out because my business number is not private. 609-361-4331. Give me a call. Or contact me via email at skylabolwe at gmail.com. Again, one more shameless plug. Check out our family-owned nonprofit community bookstore at hiddengemsliteraryemporium.com. And I love you for reading. I love you for listening. And um, peace, love, and joy to you and yours. <laughs>